there are countless species of common, unknown flora and fauna around us, whose trajectories are either difficult to follow or erratic. Mankind has always explored the mysteries and wonders of nature, and we hope to follow the footsteps of animals and the growth of plants to get a glimpse of the laws and laws that govern the development of nature. In the mountains, in the sea and in the cities, there are traces of different kinds of animals and plants in various places. We want to follow the traces of animals and plants, adding tracks for exploring nature. Here is our app, Blur, Location Plus Core, a nature-friendly community app. Biological researchers want to observe whether a particular area is populated by a particular animal or has a particular plant growing in it. Animal conservationists and biologists can also learn and protect local ecosystems and biodiversity better if they know the distribution of creatures in a particular place. We would like to have an app that would allow us to share with people the sightings of a plant or an animal or fauna that we have stumbled upon in a particular location. It would allow biologists to record and discover where animals and plants occur to help study biological habits. It can give people someone to ask about unfamiliar animals and plants when they encounter them. Animals and plants that can be discovered around us and add to our enjoyment. Our app, Leora. We want to achieve a friendly community for exploring nature and discovering it. Our app allows users to register their own account to log in and set their own password. This is done by storing the account registration data on Firebase and using Firebase to ensure the security and reliability of the account data. We allow users to manage their account from the account screen and change their account avatar, display name and other information. Initially, when the user completes and registers and logs in, we need to get access to the user's geographic location. The GPS sensor to perform the geolocation related calculations. When the user has completed the permission grant, we can access the finder page. The first thing you can see in our app is the posts that people have shared. In the finder page, flora and fauna are divided into two sections so that the user can explore the plant or animal related posts separately. We have tied each post to a geographical location and image, and each post has a title and description. In addition, we have also set up the sorting of the finder page so that users can choose to sort using the post's distance from themselves or the time the post was posted. In addition to the F and DER page, we also allow users to view post on a map which means users can more easily see posts near them or near a location on a map. When enough people use it, the app allows you to see on a map what animals and plants are around your location. If you are interested, you can follow the location to explore and find these little elves that are close to you. You can easily tap into a post on Finder page or on Map page and see the details and comments of other users, and you can likewise see its location and other information. If you are interested in a particular post, you can easily comment on the post page. Currently only text is supported for comments. After posting a comment, the user's name and avatar will be displayed in the list of comments below. When you spot a small dog or cat you like on the street one day, or another species, you can photograph it, describe it, and record the location. 
we allow users to post their own posts to do this you need to click on send post in the map page after which a page will pop up to send a post and you will need to select a picture or a photo in the system then you can send a post by filling in the title description and choosing whether it is a plant or an animal our AI model automatically recognizes the content of the image and displays it on the page where the post and post detail is sent, although this may not be correct. Once you click on send, you will find the post you just sent in the finder. The sensors we use in this app include the camera and the GPS location. We use the camera to allow the user to take photos and upload graphics. And we use GPS to locate the user's position for the purpose of exploring nearby posts. In addition, we have connected the gyroscope and accelerometer sensors to collect suggestions. So though when you shake your phone on the main page, a pop-up window will appear to collect suggestions from users. We use Firebase powered by Google technology to ensure data storage, query, transmission, to enhance availability and reliability. We use Firebase's authentication function to ensure the security of storage and access to user accounts. We also use Firestore to store post-related information. When a user logs in, the system sends a request to Firebase authentication and returns login information. When a user sends posts or adds comments, the app stores the data in the Firestore database. The use of Firebase ensures the security and reliability of the data and does not require maintenance of the server ourselves, ensuring the availability of the system. All in all, we are currently implementing a project that hopes to preserve, explore and share the fauna and flora of the surrounding community's nature. We hope to achieve a community where people live in harmony with nature and inspire people to take care of the fauna and flora. Ideally, nature lovers will be able to discover and seek out the creatures that others share and actively share their discoveries, whether in the city, in nature parks, or in the wild. This will not only help biologists to study the trajectories of plants and animals but will also enable people to protect the fauna and flora of nature and live in harmony with it.